Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Uh, it's me, Mr. Four Cap Scaler. You know, this is my first time trying out this game. You know, when I originally got the Oculus Rift, I didn't even know that I had this special coupon where I got this game for free. It was something from Oculus Rift. It was some special sort of a deal they had. And I had no, not, I didn't know nothing about this game. I didn't even know that this game existed until they sent me a notification that I have this free coupon and I can have the full version of this game. I can try it out. This is the Oculus Studio exclusive uh, game. It's the same studio that's making uh, Lone Echo. Lone Echo is really supposed to be a pretty cool game. It's also about the robot. You're controlling a robot and you're out in the space station. Uh, supporting this scientist that's working on there, this female scientist, and you're supposed to protect the crew, whatever happens, like look after them. you like their butler in, in some ways. So there's a, another game that's coming out, I believe Thursday, called uh, Lone Echo. Also has a multiplayer. It's created by the same Oculus studio. So this is the uh, only on Oculus type of a game. Hey, what's up, guys? How you doing? Welcome to the chat. Kiboi, Dr. Noli. How you guys doing? Hola. Hello, friends. Welcome. <laughs> All right, so you guys want me to do this? Uh, see what this uh, whole thing gets about? Are you guys ready? Uh, let me make sure I said hello to everyone. Kiboi Tunj, hello. Didier Raymond, hello. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, well, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Kiboi, does anyone know FIFA 17 Ultimate? team chat i honestly i haven't played fifa 17 on pc for a long long time but i'm pretty sure that there is i would just dig deep and do some more uh searching on it hey azhar ronaldo welcome welcome to the chat room welcome to the stream so let me just give you a brief basics of this game uh it's kind of inspired by iRobot. Do you guys remember that movie with Will Smith, iRobot? Which I personally like that movie, and it's kind of shame that they never made a sequel. I don't know why. So this is kind of inspired by that. You know, it's a robo recoil. It's a uh, first-person shooter game, and uh, I guess you're supposed to go in and look after these other bad robots and recall them and destroy them it's like there's good robots and there's defective bad robots so your job is to go in there and get these bad robots kind of like a blade runner except you know they're not humanoids they're just like robots <laughs> actually no i don't i don't but however i did um get this game for free honestly i had no idea uh oculus contact me and says you have a coupon for this game we're sending it to you try it out robo recall so i was like okay let me check it out they also mentioned something that i should check out i don't know why oculus is all of a sudden contacting me and, uh, they told me i should check out lone echo that's their new exclusive game that's coming out on thursday and they're saying there's supposed to be a really good game uh it's like a adventure uh, virtual reality game where you play this robot in the space station uh, and, and then the spaceship and you need to look after the crew you need to like protect the crew no matter what happens so it's like supposed to be an interesting game so uh i'll check that out as well but anyway without me you know butchering this as it is i'm gonna go ahead and uh, i'm gonna start this this is how it's gonna basically work uh when I'm playing, you know, from time to time, when I do certain missions here, I'm kind of like going to stop off and on and then look up and see what you guys are saying. Check the chat from now and then, you know what I mean? Because I don't have the chat on my lenses, so I cannot see the chat on the lenses. The only way I can see the chat is when I like move my VR headset out of my head and then I can see what you guys are saying. 
No, I I didn't. I'm not promoting it. It's just they gave it to me. I mean, look, if someone's going to give me something for free, I mean, I cannot, you know, there's nothing I can do about that. But, um, well, since they gave me this for free and then they, you know, I, I might as well give them a little pro, uh, pro bono promotion. You know, you guys should definitely check out Oculus Rift. You know, it's only $3.99. You get uh, touch controllers right here. You get these pretty cool touch controllers. You get two cameras. You can add another camera if you want. So you get this entire package for four hundred dollars. Original price was six hundred, so they drop it down from six hundred to four hundred. Uh, the difference between PlayStation VR and this is, of course, this is more superior. It has much better tracking, and uh, you don't need to spend another sixty dollars for the camera. You need to. You don't need to spend another hundred dollars for the move controllers so that's 500 plus tax you paying for playstation vr with this for 400 you're already getting the package however there's the downside you do have to make sure that your pc is compatible you don't have to have a super high-end beefy pc you can still have i5 processor 8 gigs uh 970 will do it 9 uh 970 to start with should be something recommended. You should have uh, nothing less than 970. So you're looking for a PC that's close to 800, $900 uh, or a laptop that's 800, $900. So you have to keep that in mind. I assume a lot of you have a good PC. So anyway, without me butchering this, how many minutes has been now? Uh, Jesus, already it's been seven minutes. I've been butchering it. <laughs> all right let's start this i apologize if you're watching this like pre-recorded on the youtube you can skip this nonsense of me blabbering blah 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 so anyway <clears throat> let's continue let's click play i'm gonna shut up here for a minute i'm gonna let you guys watch this uh intro because the uh oculus did tell me that there's an intro that i should definitely check it out all right so let's go check it out Oh, this is awesome. This actually looks pretty cool. Um, I see. So this is pretty much your uh, typical basics controls that you use in the Oculus Rift. You know, you can... Uh, touch controls, honestly, in my opinion, is a little bit better than the uh, HTC Vive. The HTC Vive is just, it's too big, you know, it's too large. Uh, this is much easier to, it's much lighter on your hands. It's more fluid, you know. Should I pick up this poor bastard? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, I'm really impressed with the graphics, but this is what you expect from the Oculus Studio. Remember, Oculus Studio is the one that truly knows how to utilize the graphics, the GPU power, CPU power to utilize the uh, Oculus because they created the Oculus. So who better to make a great VR games than the Oculus Studio? All right, so let's pull the sucker out. Easy. This, I feel so guilty, man. I'm going to rip this robot apart. So I have to pull him out. 
All right. Let's pull. Let's should we pull his arm? All right. Let's do it. You bad, 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 bad robot. <laughs> you stupid bastard. I told you all of it. This is all you bullshit. <laughs> Don't you listen to me, you and your stupid robots. I'm the real Terminator. I'm the real one. Not you. <laughs> this is hilarious, man. <laughs> yeah, the graphics are really good, man. Ah, uh, the difference between Oculus and uh, PlayStation VR. Well, the the one obvious difference you're gonna notice is the tracking uh the playstation camera it's okay it, it gets the job done but you're limited to like how much you can turn you know you have limited abilities on your movement because of that playstation camera with the oculus rift is different you can have three cameras i have actually three cameras I have one over here on the top left it's a tracking uh, they don't call it camera they call it tracking device i have one on the left one on the right and they're each 60 bucks they're not that expensive one on the right and then i got one over here in the uh behind me in the back you can put four depending on how many usb ports you have you can put four and but three it's honestly more than enough so you get better tracking and at the same time you can get better resolution and better graphics so i can crank this game up to like a higher resolution i can go to the uh, option menu and crank it up to the higher resolution but i don't want to do that now because i'm live streaming so you can i can have these graphics which they are pretty much at the high settings currently i'm running this at the uh, 1080 1920 by 1080 but i can however run it 2560 by 1440 qhd on each eye with a higher textures Again, it will depend on what type of uh, computer you have. I have a beefy PC, so for me, it doesn't really matter. Now, hold on. Let me see what you guys are saying. I know. It is abomination. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to destroy this poor bastard. I'm the real Terminator. You should have listened to me, you bastard. This is all your fault. The entire cabinet of you robots. Here, I'll pull this shit out. Come here. You bastard. All of you to the hell. <sighs> now I got you. <laughs> all right. So pull the other one. Come here. Here we go. So that's it. Oh, what is this? Look, there's legs. Actually, you can uh, customize his legs. Look at that. Hold on. Can you? Let me see. Anyway, so I need to pull this out. All right, so let's see what else we got here. Let's check this out. Turn around to face sensors. Let me check this out first. Oh, look at that. There's some spare hands over here. Now, nah, I don't think I'm qualified for this yet. I don't know how to do this. Let's just put this over here. Ah, shit. It went all the way up there. Turn around to face the sensors. All right. Where are the sensors at? Oh, uh, you know what's so cool? Every...
You know what's so cool? You can touch anything. Uh, that's what's so great about this. You can drink. Now, me personally, since I have all three VR headsets, I can tell you that HTC Vive has a much more freedom of movements. Like with HTC Vive, you can do a lot of things. You can kneel down, you can crouch. You know, you really have a lot of movements on the HTC Vive. But the problem with the room scale with the HTC Vive is you're going to need a lot of room. Like when you purchase HTC Vive, you have to reconsider that you're going to need a spare empty room. Like, I mean, really, like a spare empty room where you're going to have to uh, screw in those uh, sensors way up high, opposite of each other, and then you have to room scale that entire empty room. You cannot have any objects. With the uh, Oculus Rift, that's not the case. You can have a small room. You can still uh, have some space and, and enjoy it. And it's cheaper, you know. Plus, they have more games. They have more exclusives. So the Oculus Rift, obviously, you know, has more exclusive. That's the one um, positive. Hold on. Let me check the chat room. All right. So from time to time, I'm going to check the chat room. So I'm going to go ahead, explore a little bit more. Can you touch these boxes? Let me see. No. All right, so I'm going to exit out of here. I'm going to go and do my first mission. Let me just reposition myself. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Ah, come on. How do you reload? Hold on. Okay. Here we go. So far, I'm liking the uh, the motion fluidity of it. It's pretty cool. It's very uh, fluid. Now, one thing about H not HTC Vive, Oculus Rift is the touch controllers are very light. I don't like those heavy controllers on the HTC Vive. The touch controls are very light and very fluid. Same thing with the headset. They're very light and it's just, you can spend more time playing it. Wow, look at the graphics, man. It's pretty cool. All right, here we go, guys. Oh, shit. Who's next? So you collect these chips to get your multiplier and you get the points and stuff. All right. All right, let's move out. You can also go over here and go in a corner and go like this. You know, go like that and like shoot like that. You know, you can do that. Go like that. 
but the graphics are really good, man. I'm very impressed with the graphics. No, nah, it's all right, man. The words sometimes are not that important. All right, let's go this way. Oh, shit. Oh, come on. Son of a... All right, let's go to move out. Oh, hey guys, Just don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Wow, that was pretty cool, man. I do have to admit the graphics are really amazing, man. That was pretty cool. You can actually catch the bullets and throw it back at them. That was awesome, man. You know, if they're not thinking about making a Blade Runner VR, then I don't know. What the hell? All right, let's... uh. Let's move out. Here they come. Oh, look at that. Now I have this little sensor here where I can see them. Can I grab them? Hold on. That was pretty cool. Yeah, so far I'm digging it, man. This is awesome. Look, there's another weapon here. What is this? Nice. You can pick up different weapons, like this one right here has these like a little sensors built into it where you can see like x-ray sensors so you can see the, the design of the robots oh, that's cool you can kind of I like that, man. The fluidity of the motion here is pretty good. Not bad. and Not bad. Let me see how much I can uh, squat and kneel down. So it's a pretty good amount you can do right here. I think this is going to be a future Call of Duty, man. This is what we're going to be playing in the multiplayer. <laughs> so far, so good. All right, let's go this way. Oh, yeah.
Wait a minute, so I have to pick him up? I have to admit they they did really an excellent job in terms of architecture here. Uh, you really feel like you're inside this world, man. And this game will definitely give you a workout. This is a standing up game. It's not like a, me sitting on a couch or something like stuff like that. Like you definitely are like moving up. There's some cardio involved. Yes. All right, recall 10 or more robots in two minutes. Oh, shit. I'll let this. Let's do it. Bring it. Come on. Who's next? Who's next? Ah. Come on. Ah, come on. Who's next? Oh, shit. Ah, fuck. Oh, great. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, no, hell you don't. Oh, come on. Look at that. You can use them as a cover. Oh, my God. That was pretty cool, man. Whew. That was pretty cool, man. It uh, it definitely feels like you're like the John Wick of robots, bro. Hold on. All right. Oh, great. You serious? No, I'm not. Nice. Let me see. Oh, that's pretty cool. You get the points, and with the points that you get, I got 79,000 score, which is not bad. What I'm like, one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm sixth place. Not bad. Let's continue to the hub. Now I'm sure I'll have some upgrades once I get to the uh the station.
Thank you. It's a pleasure. I'm not shaken, but stirred. Agent 34. Aha, uh -huh. so we got new missions, weapons. So let's see what type of weapons I can get. So I can put a holocyte compensator. I only have one available. I'll use the compensator. Put it on. Uh, let's check out the shotgun. Nothing available for the shotgun right now. All right. Hold on. All right, let's do this next mission. So, you know what, so far, I have to say, this is pretty cool. Considering uh, the fluidity of the motion, it's a really a good uh, cardio workout as well, because you constantly, you have to do it standing up, you're moving around, you're jumping around, you're using both arms and your legs moving left and right. So this game will definitely give you some workout. And the graphics are pretty cool. Remember, you can also adjust the resolution. On this game you can have a high resolution uh, QHD with uh, ultra graphics settings depending on your uh, PC so you can really have a super awesome experience and this is definitely worth it I was lucky enough to get this for free but I think the price it's uh, what 39 39 dollars but I think it's definitely worth it you're definitely getting a, a very unique touch control experience all right, so let's do this uh, city center mission. As you progress throughout the missions, they get harder and harder. So let's go click right here. There's a batch recall. Yes. Let's do it. Mr. 4K VR, it's ready to do this. I'm going to make it happen. You watch and learn. Here we go. Time to do it. Of course they do. I'm Agent 34. I replaced Will Smith. <laughs> Bring it.
Oh, what happened? Did I pause? Oh, shit. I paused it. Look at how cool that is. You can pause it. Do like a Matrix thing. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> like a bullet, bullet Matrix style. Hold on. Let's resume. All right, where are we going? Yes, you can hide behind a car. Like, you can go over here as well. And you can do this if you want to. You can go like that. So it, it's definitely a good workout, honestly. Because I'm sick and tired of watching these kids play Call of Duty on a nice comfy couch this is how you're going to be playing call of duty in the future you're going to put on some muscles put on some workouts that's it that's how you're going to do it no more potato couch shit there same thing you can do here here we go ready Ah, you see how I'm using You see how I'm using him as a uh as a shield? Oh shit, here they come. Ah, oh, damn it. Yes, I am the legend, god damn it. Fuck. Woo. Here we go. Ready for more. Yeah. Oh shit. Hold on. Oh, he's right up there. I see him. Let me collect uh let me collect all of the chips and guns and everything that I forgot to collect. Oh let me check the chat room really quick. And collect, collect my guns. Cool. Oh, great. Oh, my God. Two minutes of hell. Huh. 
Come on, you bastards. Ah, come on. Did I pause it? Oh, I did. Hold on. Shut up. Fuck. Oh, come on. Where? Oh. Nice. Where are you guys going? Where are you going? Where, are you, where is he going? I'm going to get you. Not bad. Not bad. I like this combination of uh, shotgun and uh, dual guns. You can go switch back and forth. It's really a good workout, guys. This will definitely give you a workout. Hey, uh, Aris Kaksi Steima Wally Tebi. Thanks. Oh, great. Who's next? Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, my God. That was that was a workout, man. That was some John Wick robot <laughs> workout.
Hvala ti, hvala što gledaš to. Yeah, it's entertaining, that's for sure, man. It's definitely entertaining. But you gotta try this out. You have to like put on a VR headset, try this game. It's really a like a workout. Like you really feel like you're there. And uh here I'm like half an hour already and it's definitely a workout. All right. Where are you going, huh? Get in there. No, no talking. Who's next? Oh, you bastard. Son of a bitch. Oh, come on. Ah, screw you guys. <sighs> All right. I kicked some serious ass over here. <laughs> so once you finish these missions, you get the perks, you get the points. The more points you get, the more upgrades you can have, the more weapons you can have, the more customizations you can have. So it's a pretty good, uh, pretty good game, man. Definitely worth it. Uh, it'll, it will give you a workout for sure. Hvala i tebi, nema Hvala. All right, so uh, <clears throat> let's continue. So now it's going to take us to the hub. To the station and from there we can do some more upgrades check our weapons We'll stop the Odin. <laughs> All right, so this is the office. 
you can check things out if you want to. You can go like over here, look at the documents, look at your coffee mug, pick it up, have some coffee or whatever. <sighs> These are all the people that worked from the Oculus team, Oculus Studio. By the way, there's another game that they're making that's coming out on Thursday. It's called the uh, Lone Echo. Uh, you play this Echo robot and your job is on this uh, spaceship to take care of the crew, like the scientific crew, astronauts, uh, especially this one lady that's there, you need to take care of her, protect her and uh, assist her in any possible way, whatever that means. And uh, supposed to be an interesting game. It's like a VR, like they depend on you. Like you're like HAL 3000, it was a HAL 3000 from 2001 Space Odyssey, except you're the robot like this. And you need to assist the humans any possible way you can. And uh, it's called Lone Echo. And it's coming out on Thursday. I'm going to check that out as well. But that's the same team. You see these guys? That's the same team from the Oculus Studio that's working on it. Also remember the Oculus now. It's with a Facebook. So, you know, they're working together with a Facebook and stuff. Put this over here. What is this? Oh, check this out. You can look at this. What is this? That's pretty cool. Talk. Will you talk to me? Look at me, motherfucker. <laughs> Put this over here. Dead or alive, you're coming with me. Here we go. Ah, well. You can check all of these things. Uh, these are actually my trophies that I want. So I shouldn't, I should collect my trophies. What's wrong with me? Put these trophies over here. Actually put this one here. There you go. So you can collect your trophies. You can look around, see other things around you. Uh, the one thing I recommend, so you guys don't hurt yourself, because it could, you could easily hurt yourself if you are playing this in an environment that's not a big environment. Let's say you have some sharp objects, like one of those sharp tables or something. You can really hurt yourself badly if you... I recommend that you find uh, an empty space, like 300 square feet or something like that. Some type of an empty space and then play the Oculus there. So that way you don't hurt yourself. Because uh, either you can hurt, you know, you can hit something uh, valuable you have on the table or damage the TV or something. So... You got to be careful because you can easily lose yourself in a, this type of an action game that's standing up. That's very important that you guys know that. And yes, you can come here. You can check out the robots. I already did that. You can pick them up like this one right here. You can pick them up, look at him. You can smack him around a little bit. You can do some boxing with him, you know. Ah, well, what are you going to do? And then uh, you go up here to check your uh, status on the mission. Which would be right over here. Agent 34, that is me. You see, now I have some new weapons, upgrades. There is a gun rage. You can check it out if you want. There's mods. We got a shotgun, pistol. We got a compensator. I don't have any uh, unlockables. Only at the, the number eight uh, points I'll be able to do that. So Let's check out the revolver. Oh yeah. <sighs> no, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna use this.
There it is. It's right there. Okay, so I got the uh, revolver. I'm going to use both of them. I'll put them right here. I like these. These are powerhouses right here, man. These things are powerful. So, yeah. Okay. I don't have any uh, extra upgrades to uh, unlock on the shotgun, but there it is. Okay, now we're going to go check our next mission. Let's go over here and let's look at our next mission. All right, let's go to the status. Yes. Like these are your perks and stuff. So let's go to the mission and let's continue. City center, that's the new one. Old town is the new one. Let's go to the old town. I haven't done this. This is a zone two. I don't know if I should progress, but uh, let's give it a try. Improvement needed. Complete the mission with 350,000 points. Meet expectation, exceed expectation. Uh, the outbreak has spread to the old town using the data you collected. Okay, this mission is going to be really, really hard. Uh, most likely I'm going to fail here because I don't think I'm quite ready to encounter what I'm going to be encountering here. So I'll give it a try just to see how difficult it is. But most likely I'm going to die. But let's see. You bet. I'm going to need it. <laughs> I will need it. So far, very impressed with Robo Recall. By the way, tomorrow I'm doing the unboxing of Nintendo Switch. It's going to be like a 40 minute impression of Nintendo Switch. So just see how it is. Where's the energy rifle? Yes. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Got the energy rifle. Let's do this, baby. Where is his rifle? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. I want to pick up the rifle. You can also, uh, you can use the robot as a shield. There's so many different things you can do. You can use the robot as a shield. You can grab him while you're shooting. So that's kind of pretty cool as well. You can also hide in the corners right here. Like right here, you can... You can go like this. You can go over here as well. You see, I'm using him as a shield.
So that's pretty cool that you can use them as a shield, man. I like that. I wonder if you can use the basketball and put it in, man. We'll try that as well. <laughs> Yes, you can use the bullets. Throw them back at them. Oh, yeah. It's like a dual shotgun or something. Where do you think you're going? You lucky bastard. That was intense. <laughs> Let me collect my shotgun. Yeah, now we're talking. Hold on, let me just uh, re uh, reposition myself. Yeah, thanks guys for stopping by. I appreciate it. Uh, so far I'm impressed. I like what I'm seeing here. Can we play basketball here? Hold on. Can I pick up a ball? Is there any balls here? Not at the moment. Ah, oh, well. There you go. I'm on the roof. Oh, great. Thank you. Where did he go? You motherfucker. But I guess not. <laughs> Who's next?
fuck. Come on. All right, now we're talking. They better. Ha <laughs> ha now I got two of them. Who's next? Who's next in the menu? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Son of a bitch. Whew. All right, let's do it. Let's activate this bitch. All right, shouldn't be too hard. I hope not. Oh my God, look how many they are, Jesus. Oh no. Ah, oh, shit, come on. No kidding. Oh, come on. Come on. Fuck the 30 seconds. Oh, come on. Damn you. Well, you can't expect me to always win. Damn it. But hey, so far I'm happy. Like this is my first time playing it. I think I'm doing pretty good for the first timer, you know. Yep. 
I failed this time. But that was a pretty hard mission, I have to admit, you know what I mean? This one's still hard, you know, you know. The problem sometimes is, you know, you get so disoriented and then you lose track of where you are because you got so many things happening. But that's what makes this game such a good cardio workout because you constantly have to keep moving and uh, you got to be really fast. It's kind of sad. I only have like 30 seconds left. God damn it. Okay, now I got the energy rifle. Now it's going to be a different story. Now it's going to be a totally different story. Can't wait to put this overdrive on this thing. This thing's going to be a beast. All right, let's do one more. Actually, let's do the same level, but now since I have these energy rifles, I should be able to do a little better job. You know what I mean? It shouldn't be as hard. I should be able to hold off two minutes, especially the last 30 seconds. All right, let's do it. Agent 34, welcome back. We're going to do the old town again. <clears throat> Robo Rabble Diagnosis. That's going to be next level. And then you got the, a new internet. All right. Okay, let's do it. So here I'm, I've been playing this for an hour, and I can tell you, you definitely get the cardio workout. No kidding. You're definitely going to feel that cardio workout with this game. This game and the other one, the Onward and uh, Front Defense. I have one too. I have one too. What's up now? Oh, shit. I don't think so. All right, motherfuckers. <laughs> right in the head. Bring it. I want to get as many headshots as possible. Hold on.
God damn it, one minute. I like this, the fact that you can pause it and then continue. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. All right, I did okay here. You know, I had a lot of headshots. But sometimes you get disoriented, you know, you forget where you are. But all in all, dude, I've been sweating like a pig, man. This is definitely a workout. I'm telling you. It's very important that you always kind of align yourself with the uh, tracking. So that way you know where you are. Because you can easily lose yourself in, uh, in the action, in the moment. Then you forget where you are. So always kind of keep track on your tracking. So right now I know my tracking device is here here and then here behind me so that way i can always stay in this one position and just use a controller to move around but sometimes you'll get disoriented you know you'll forget where you are so i would say stay in one place don't move too much just use your uh left thumb uh thumbstick controller and move it like that see how i'm moving it and kind of like if you see an enemy there or if you see an enemy on your right don't move your uh legs just move this and go there and then shoot it from there that way you can easily easily reload you know what i mean so all right let's go up there let's defend that relay Once you get a hang of it, you know, it's going to be a different, uh, different story.
Did you see that? I was ricocheting his bullets. I was grabbing him and ricocheting him. I was grabbing his bullets and then I was ricocheting his bullets against him. That was pretty cool. Okay, let's go up there. Let's activate the relay. Let's do this. Oh, come on, let's defend this, goddammit. Woo! Let's do it. Oh my god, 90 seconds. Oh, come on. They better promote me. Come on, 10 seconds. Yes! Kicked ass this time. You betcha, you betcha, you betcha. All right, getting some more points. Now I have improved, let me see, Headmaster, 15 headshots, exceed expectations, complete the mission with 1 million and a half points. Jesus, that's going to be a tough one. Let's continue to the hub. Yeah, I mean, I've been playing this now for an hour and a half, and it's definitely a workout. I mean, you're like, you're going to be sweating. This is like a gym. I understand. You guys do care. So do I care. So do I. All right, let me, uh, before I exit the elevator, let me check the uh, chat room. The game is good. Good, 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 good. Good, good. And let me see. It's good. Good. All right. Whew. That was intense. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool elevator as well. You know. So what can I say about this game? Uh, you guys definitely need to pick this up if you're gonna. Buy the Oculus Rift. Definitely get this game. If you can get it on sale, go it with it. It's a lot of fun, especially if you have a touch controller. 
you're truly going to benefit from this game. It had so much fun and um, it's definitely going to give you a workout like you have never seen before, man. This is like the gym workout for an hour and a half. I think already less like 20 pounds, man, because you're constantly sweating. Not only do you have this VR headset on your top of your head, which, which also it's making you sweat, but then you're moving around, you're using your left and right arm, you're moving your torso left and right. So you're constantly moving. And I think this is one of the benefits that the future of gaming for the kids, instead of sitting on a couch, uh, once the once the VR headsets become more lighter, you know, like a visor or something, then I think def when they become wireless, I think with the gloves and everything, I think then you're truly going to have that, like, uh, an unbelievably great uh, cardio VR experience. But VR is really moving in the right direction. There's so many VR games. They're constantly pushing the VR. And uh, I can definitely see Call of Duty, Battlefield, you know, all of these games, multiplayer, take the uh, VR advantage. We have seen that with the PlayStation VR, with the Farpoint, with a co-op. Uh, I mean, Farpoint is good, but here's, here's the thing. I have Farpoint. I like it. I mean, it's a great game. Uh, it's a great shoot 'em up game on the PlayStation VR. And you can play with a co-op with somebody else as well. But however, there's still some things missing, you know, like you don't have that freedom of movement like you have here. You know, I mean, you can, you can kneel down like right now I'm kneeling down. You see, I can look up and everything. I can crawl back over here and check things out and look look at things on the HTC Vive you have total room scale total freedom to to lay on the ground to hide right here behind the elevator you know you can do that here as well but it's kind of li you know it's limited it, it is still good but you need more you need more tracking you know i have three tracking so i'm able to kind of move a little bit further like i'm able to come this way and like and hide right here let's say i have a I pull up a gun and i'm hiding right here and i shoot and you know there's a there's a lot of different things you can do <clears throat> let me check the chat room all right i guess i can do one more let me see my upgrades let me move around because uh you guys have to remember <laughs> I've been, it's been 90 minutes. I feel like hour and a half. I've been just sweating like a pig, man. This is like a cardio for me. It's like a gym workout. Let's go over here. Agent 34. Colonel, this is Snake. We have a new mission. Our mission's going to be... Well, first, let's check the weapons. Let's look at the shotgun. Ooh, recoil, choke, magazine, extra magazine. That's cool. What is the choke? Greatly tightens the shotgun firing spread and increases the long range. Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to get a choke. Recoil, great, reduces shotgun recoil. This is what I want. I want to choke. Now, let's try it out. Choke. Quip. Let's look at this baby. Come with me if you want to live. Oh yeah. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna equip the shotgun here. And then this here. So I'm gonna have a shotgun. Hold on. I'm gonna have a shotgun and the uh this gun. So I'll have three different types of uh guns. Shotgun. Uh, then the what you call it this I forgot the name of this uh, weapon let's find out what's it called let's go to weapons the energy rifle so I'll have energy rifle and a shotgun and these uh, you know what let me mix this up let me use on the left the uh, revolver and then here I'm gonna add a pistol Which I'm going to put over here. So now I have the compensator pistol, the gun, and I got the revolver. 
And then, of course, I have the uh, the energy rifle on my right, right here, the energy rifle, and then the, the shotgun. So I have four different types of weapons. So that gives me a variety of ranges, too. Like, if I'm fighting different types of enemy, I can switch back and forth between all four of them. Uh, that's where you're going to be getting this workout. Like, okay, you need to get this uh, uh, energy rifle. While you're shooting this one, you got to go go behind, pick that up. Then you're going to get the uh, the one on the left, holster, revolver. You got to come here, pick it up from there. Same thing here. Come here from the sidearm, pick it up. So you constantly are moving around. And that's what gives you the uh, different ranges of workout, different ranges of movements. I think I'm definitely promoting Oculus here. <laughs> I think I'm promoting VR, as a matter of fact. Uh, someone asked me the other day, what's better, uh, HTC Vive or Oculus Rift? In terms of resolution, it's the same. So whether you buy Oculus Rift or HTC Vive, you'll have the same resolution. The only minor difference on HTC Vive is that AMOLED screen. That AMOLED screen makes the, uh, the colors pop a little better, you know. And, of course, the reason you're paying $800 for HTC Vive is because of that room scale. You can really move around, jump around. You can, just like in real life, you can kneel down, you can crawl. There's so many different things you can do. So you truly immerse yourself in that experience. You know what I mean? All right, let's do this. Let's do this one more, and let's go to missions. We got the old town. We got the rooftop. City center. Short circuit. Well, then let's defend it. Let's. Yeah. Yes, I'm pretty sure they do. Their hearts are bleeding for me. I can already feel it. <laughs> Colonel, what's this bullshit about them valuing me? I don't think so. Ah, oh, that's pretty cool. Get ready. I know he does, but so do I. Where are you going, huh? You see, now I have a different variety of weapons that I can use. That's kind of cool. Let me hide over here. Hold on. Let's do this. Fuck. Oh, fuck. Of course I can. I wouldn't be any good if I couldn't. Okay, okay, okay. Got two more minutes to do this. Let's do it.
son of a bitch. I shot him in the in his balls. <laughs> Motherfucker. Ah, oh, there you are. Shit. Okay, how many seconds? Oh, did you see how he fell? He bumped it. Let me show you this really quick. This is another cool feature. You can pause it and you can kind of move around and look at things and examine things. Remember the uh, the X Men that scene in the X Men uh, Apocalypse? The only problem is you can't touch things, but it, it would be cool if developers are listening. I think it would be cool if they add the mod where you can pause it like this and then you move things around. You point a weapon at them and you point the bullets going their directions. Uh, that would be cool if they did that. You know what I mean? You walk around here and you check the bullet and you look at it. So that would be kind of awesome. Oh, look at that. Look at that muzzle shot. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll show you this. Uh, hold on. Oh, I failed here. All right, who's next? Oh, that's great. Oh my god. Fuck. Oh, fuck me. Fuck me. Ha! 
Hold on. Ah, oh, shit. Come on. Get him. Ha ha ha. Oh, yeah. Who's next? Come on. Fuck. Here we go. Ha <laughs> ha. This one is really tough. Oh, great. And then defend it. Oh, man. No, 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 no. I don't think so. <laughs> you son of a bitch. Who's next? Ah, oh, come on.
Yes. Motherfuckers. What do you mean? Oh, I did miss one. That's right. I didn't collect the uh all the stuff in the, in the first uh, array. Uh, damn it. But hey, for the beginner, I think I did okay. I think I did more than okay. Let's continue to the hub. All right, guys, so uh, this has been two hour stream. Hopefully uh, this two hour stream gives you some insight on this game and just how much fun it is. Look, it's a one thing you watching it on the, uh, the video screen on your cell phone or your laptop. It's a whole other different experience. You putting this uh, headset on and using these touch controllers then you're truly going to understand this is like a two hour cardio workout. It's what this basically is. That's how intense this really is. And uh, it's a lot of fun. You're definitely going to have a great workout doing this, man. There's no question about that. And uh, I, I highly recommend this game. It's so much fun. You're really going to, if you like shoot 'em up kind of games, you're going to love this game. You can also adjust the resolution. You can have a higher graphics and uh, depending on your PC. Uh, the graphics are amazing. It's, uh, I think this is a perfect game to go with. And I believe uh, Lone Echo, which is a multiplayer and a single player game. I'm going to try that out on uh, tomorrow. I'll try that tomorrow, Wednesday. Along with the, uh, the unboxing of Nintendo Switch. It's my first time trying Nintendo Switch. I haven't tried it. I haven't even looked at it. See how it looks. So this would just be like my first time trying Nintendo Switch. I don't even know how it looks like. I never even seen one in person. Like so, um, it's gonna be interesting to see what I think about it. I'll do like a half an hour video, unboxing, setup, and everything, and check the Zelda just to see. Might give you my thoughts on it, what I think about it, and stuff like that. My first impressions. It won't be a review. It'll be just like my first impression on the product and what I think about it. So that'll be tomorrow night. And then uh, Thursday, I'm sorry, uh, the 20th. On, on Thursday, like tomorrow, Wednesday night, you will see me do the uh, Nintendo Switch unboxing and setup and my first impression. And then on Thursday night, you will see me do a uh, single player campaign on uh, Lone Echo, which is the uh, exclusive oculus rift game just like this one it's exclusive meaning you won't find it on htc vive you won't find it on playstation vr you will only find it on the oculus rift it's like an exclusive oculus rift game so um i think that's pretty much all there is to for me to say let me get out of the elevator come over here and uh Exit, I'm gonna exit out of here. Go to the home menu. Uh, let me go to the menu. Go back. So, uh, that's it guys, that's all I have. <laughs> Thank you all for stopping by, I appreciate it. I know it's, uh, only two hours stream, but believe me, for a VR, uh, this is pretty good. Uh, trust me, you try to do at least half an hour to 45 minutes uh, with this game, uh, with a VR headset on, and you let me know. <laughs> now imagine doing this for two hours. It's definitely a workout. All right, guys, so tomorrow is going to be a Nintendo Switch unboxing and a first impression. I know. I'm kind of late to the game, late to the to the train, you know, or late to the plane, whatever, or late to the party, or whatever the term you want to use. But it will be interesting for you guys to see what Mr. 4K thinks about Nintendo Switch, my impressions, my thoughts on it, and what I think about it. So we'll do that tomorrow night, and then on Thursday we'll do uh, 
Lone Echo single player. It's supposed to be a really cool game a real, with a like, really cool story. So we'll check it out. All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you for uh, joining this stream, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.